I am in Eugene at Elixir, and I'm with Andrea Loretto. And Andrea, you make a very interesting liqueur. It's made out of irises, and we all love Shriner's iris, but it's not really that iris. I mean, here's an iris root, but it's actually a very special iris that's from Italy. Yeah, actually, uh, iris liqueur is made with the with the rhizome of the of the. Um, iris that grows in Tuscany and it's a different species than the one that uh, at the Shriner Garden mm -hmm. or the one that you usually uh, find in, uh, in in normal gardens mm -hmm. actually don't try it at home okay? right <laughs> this, this is toxic and gives you a bad reaction I mean the one that you Yours that you okay. find here so <laughs> this one it's okay and actually is so harmless that uh, in Florence is given to the to babies when they're teething because <laughs> they, 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 they chew on it so um, this is a very uh, it imparts a very delicate scent to the uh, to the liqueur it's a, it's a blue flower scent like violet but it's also zesty so it's a flavor profile that is extremely extremely interesting and it's actually a perfume you they also go to France too oh to yeah actually the the one this one come from uh, from Florence actually I, I I got them there but the, the and the majority of the Florentine iris is sold to uh, to grass in France mm. because they make a, a, they they distill it and concentrate it and make what they call a concrete and they use it in perfume both because it's got its own uh, scent its own blue flower oh, or nice. uh, or uh, um, uh, violet scent but also because it works as a fixative for the other element in the in the liqueur um, so they do make perfume on it but they also make a delicious liqueur that yeah. you have taken a long time over a year and a half to really get that down to that flavor yes actually yes it's uh, you know uh, today in um, um, the rhizome of the iris flower it's it's known also as oris root and it's made it's used mostly in gin especially in genes uh, that have uh, a high uh, a some floral notes because it imparts this uh, blue flower uh, blue flower oh, scent yeah. in these floral mm -hmm. notes and as far as I know there is not uh, around another liqueur based on this and uh, and I'm very proud of iris because it basically um, gives uh, it's very good on its own but when you mix it with other stuff especially with the um, um, grapefruit juice and fruit in general it really uh, it really makes uh, a great cocktail because it, it's got this strange uh, <laughs> flowery scent it does it kind of tastes like the fragrance of a virus I know we tasted it um, a couple years ago and it's very interesting and so the steps that you do it so you kind of where do you start so basically I um, I make uh, the, the, the I, I produce it in two steps first I make uh, a, a concentrated infusion. So basically, I make like a giant tea with uh, uh, with alcohol and water, and where I steep uh, all the uh, the rhizome of the iris flower, of course, uh, um, broken in uh, in uh, in chips, chips. not mm -hmm. not whole like that, and also other 20, 25 uh, uh, barks flowers wow. and spices. And then I use this uh, wooden barrel where I put infusion and I put uh, uh, additional water and uh, alcohol and then the sweeteners that in our case are just uh, um, uh, cane sugar syrup and uh, organic agave syrup. Oh, and everything's organic, you were saying. Yes, yes, it's uh, as much as possible. It's uh, most of the most of the uh, barks and spices and flowers are hard, hard, uh, are um, wild harvested or mm. organic, and uh, the base spirit is uh, organic uh, um, from corn. So it's GMO free and uh, gluten free. Wow. And the water is the best water in the country because Where's it comes from? from the Mackenzie River. Ah, because right the water, here too. Exactly. The water of Eugene is, is wonderful. Mm -hmm. it, it comes from the Mackenzie River that is extremely clean. So um, I am very proud because my, my, my liqueurs are really very uh, clean, as pristine as possible. Mm -hmm. you know? so you, you, and I believe that, that you do feel the, 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 the difference. And you, and you oh, feel like the maybe I have to try it here. Of course, please go ahead. And so when you, after you're in the barrel, then you, you bottle it from there. Yes, uh, actually, the, and, and now we go on the technical thing. But anyway, um, when I put the, the infusion, it's roughly 140, 150 proof. Wow. And the final product is 70 proof. Mm. So part of the, of the soluble um, elements of the um, extractives of, um, of the botanicals are soluble in high proof alcohol and are not soluble anymore in lower proof. Mm -hmm. So there is a separation inside the barrel. And uh, in, the, in that couple of weeks where that the liqueur rests in the barrel, the separation ac actually occurs. And, and all the, the, the part that is not soluble any longer in lower proof uh, alcohol sediments to the bottom.
and so that's why they're they're so uh, clean because basically it's beautiful I, thank you it is beautiful and it does it tastes flowery it really has a very different very unique flavor it's very delicious thank you very much and it, um i think i'll leave all the production to you i don't think i could do this in my own kitchen <laughs> okay, okay and really you'd have to try it i think that it's something very unique it's very italian um something that you should try too you should go to gardentime.tv we'll click you over to elixir's website and you have to come down meet andrea and try this delicious and liqueur. you're very welcome Thank you.